Afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the New York Yankees and the Oakland A's. A big time arm and a power bat should be fun. First pitch is next. Sean Manaya, a lefty from Indiana, is on the mound here. What's your take on him, Dan? The pride and joy of Andrain High School in Gary, Indiana. Sean Manaya, he had the no hitter against the Boston Red Sox, one of the tougher lefties. He reminds me a lot of Sid Fernandez. Low three quarter arm angle, mid to upper 90s fastball, good curveball, one of the top young the left handed pitchers game. in all of baseball. That and that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. Miguel. And we are ready for and some Andujar. daytime baseball. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the first pitch today is taken for strike one. These A's as they begin play here this afternoon. They come in on the heels of a victory last time out, but they've been in a bad stretch recently, losing five of their last eight ball games. Hit back up the middle. Simeon's there. The tag, and he is out. Got it, second. The second base. DJ Here's the second baseman DJ LeMahieu. He's hitless in the series so far. Here comes the first pitch. At the ball. A very comfortable oh, no, no, no. afternoon for baseball. 61 degrees our game time temperature. The 1 0 home. High in the air down the right field line. The Scotty's there for it. Two gone. That is third. The shortstop. Glaber Torres. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. In eight at bats in the series, he's collected three hits. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit hard on the ground to second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard cool. single up the middle. The yeah, team. watch your lips right Done there, Dan. Right. Sent it back right where Dead. it came from. Settling in now, Giancarlo Stanton. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, that's out. And set up behind the plate is Ricky Holiday, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Yeah, Dan, we got Ricky Holiday behind the dish tonight. I can't figure his zone out. He doesn't favor the hitter or the pitcher and can be a little too inconsistent at times. Dero, you hit the nail right on the head. I think one of the things we're looking for, we're looking for a consistent hey. zone. If it's a tight zone, it's a high zone. Have the same zone. His zone fluctuates a little bit too much for my liking during the course of a game. Torres leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Nope. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. I'm absolutely shocked he took that pitch right there. Right in a wheelhouse, low 90s heater. That's one you got to let go on. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Full count. Three and two. Three, two. Two out. Runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. 
Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Yanks leave one. Yankees nothing. A's coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Garrett Cole, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's really struggled lately. ERA over five in his last three starts, so he's going to have to really improve on that one. Too many base runners, too many hits, and too many walks. He needs to get off to a good start and maybe throw up a zero in the first inning. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the pitch. In there, 0-1. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They come into this one looking to make amends for a loss last time out that put an end to a seven-game winning streak. What an opportunity to get a chance to put our eyeballs on one of the best teams in baseball right now. This team has played so well. The manager has been... And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. He was able to spit on that first slider right there, guys, but he didn't let the second one go. Able to execute and drive the baseball. Stepping in now, the speedy Tony Kemp, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Runner at first with no outs here. And it's quickly 0-2. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Weak grounder down the first baseline. And there's one away. So a runner aboard at second here with one away. And up next, a Berkeley area native, Marcus Simeon. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. One out and a runner on second base. A shortstop behind with a one and two count. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. The one two. Ball two. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. I really liked it. He gave up nibbling out of the zone trying to get him to chase. That wasn't working, so the he just reached back and fired a good old country hardball fastball oh, right by him. No better feeling in the world when you're a pitcher than throwing a fastball right by a guy. And that'll bring up Matt Olson as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. His career line against Garrett Cole. No hits in 19 tries. Ready with the 1 0. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball 1 and 1. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Ready with the 1 1. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch 
after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Ready with the 2-1. Swing and a miss, 2-2 two and two now. Two and two. Here it is. Full count now. Three and two. Mark Canna would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Two out here and a runner at second. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Out of the stretch, the 3 2 home. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Back to back strikeouts keep him out of danger. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. Here's Brett Gardner now. He's two for ten in the series coming into today. The center fielder, number 11, Brett. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball, that's out. The 1 0. He's outside, outside for a ball. Good. 3 and 0 oh now. Gary Sanchez will be next. Three and one now to Brett Gardner. Stealing that strike on 3 0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. Popped him up. Chapman shading to his right. One down. That is good. The catcher, Gary Sanchez. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up Gary Sanchez. First offering on its way. Wind up and the 0 1. And it's fouled away. No score here as we play inning number two. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Bouncer to the left side. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He's coming off a three hit performance in the loss last night. Now here's the pitch. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Two out, nobody on. And a good two-strike pitch, but he misses high 1-2. and two. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. The one two. That's ball two.
hit out towards second. In a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. I mean, that has to frustrate the guy on the mound right there. You get him down 0-2, no put away pitch, works to count back to neutral, and is able to mix in a base hit. Nice job. At the plate, Luke Voigt. As he'll take a look at ball one. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. The 1 0. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And no chance at all to make a play here. So despite the effort, the inning will continue. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, dealer in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit. And I'm sure it was. Standing in now, Mike Talkman. Davis on the move. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. The 0-1. Look out, one and one. Top toward the second baseman. He's got it. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Yanks strand a pair. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Ready to go for the last half of the Ready inning. Now at the plate, Mark Canna. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Now the 1 0. Is offered at and missed for the first strike. When the pitcher on the mound's establishing this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. Fastball called strike one and two. That misses and we're even at two and two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball. A high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Cole, or the Cole train as he's frequently called. This is year one of a new nine-year deal that he signed recently, so it looks like he's here to stay for a long time. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. One out, nobody on. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Well, he's really rolling on the mound right now. All you have to do is look at the last four hitters for evidence. All four of them have gone down on strikes, as you're seeing here. That's not easy to do, so you know he's got to be pretty dialed in out there. Here's Chris Davis now. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The 1 0. 
finds the zone strike one. Well, too much tilt on that breaking ball as it misses low. Hot shot down the line. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the A's. We'll move to the third with no score. Back to the top of the order now, and striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. Miguel Andujar. First delivery to him on the way. And this one runs up high, ball one. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. This is foul right side. The one two. Fouled off. He'll try again, one, two. This is flared out towards second. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The battle, the second baseman, DJ LeMahieu. One out here in the Yankees' third inning, and that'll bring in DJ LeMahieu. First pitch coming, here it is. Wind up and the 1 0 pitch. And he fouls this one off. The 1 1 is in off the plate. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. Grounded to short, taken in by Simeon. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now back, Woodcock, Labor, Torres. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up Labor Torres. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Third inning, no score to this point. In there, and it's 0-2 now. You got to cover the whole plate now after letting him steal two strikes on the inside half. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Out 
out in front of that one may have been looking fastball good job just to make contact two out nobody on. Outside in a full count, three and two. Giancarlo Stanton would be next. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Scooped up. Rwanda Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. And we are tied nothing nothing. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit and he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year. First pitch of the at bat. Oh and he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings, and this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now if it flew in front of the plate. Lots of swings, lots of misses, a lot of ugly at-bats for this team right now. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. Oh, and they still have no answer for him up there. Six straight punch outs now, and there's one away. Batting nine. Striding in for Oakland, oh, Austin yeah. Allen. And he's definitely off Allen. to a fast start in the early part of the season. First pitch coming. Here it is. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Now the 1-0. Oh. Ah. Well. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Looking up is Gordner. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Solo shot to right center. Second home run early in the year. And the A's are on the board first. One to nothing. You don't see this very often off of this starting pitcher. This guy's not used to giving up some bombs, so I'm sure that'll be a wake-up call, and he'll start throwing some better pitches. Into the box now, Ramon Laureano. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Second at bat here, he reached via a single to lead off the home first. Swing and a miss for strike one. It's two and one to the A's leadoff batter. The two one home. Skied into straightaway right. Tuckman is there. Two down. The batter, number five, second baseman, Tony. Yeah. So bases are empty here with two gone and striding toward the plate to hit next, Tony Kemp. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Swing and a miss that time, it's 0 1. There's a good knuckle curveball right there. A lot of people ask me, what's the difference between the curveball and the knuckle curve? The knuckle curveball, the finger, your pointer finger, is spiked into it. And at times, it can be a much tighter spin and rotation than the conventional curveball. 
the 1 1. Is a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this will be fouled away. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Fiftieth pitch of the game on its way. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. He loses him on ball four. Well, he gives up the walk, but that was a really good pitch. Might have been just out of the zone, but not by much. A lot of guys would have gone fishing for that pitch, so sometimes the hitter just outlasts you. At the plate, Marcus Semyon. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Here's the first pitch to him. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Full sets coming at him with the 0 1. And it's fouled away. Two quick strikes, and now the 0 2. One ball, two strikes. A runner on first with two away. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Fouled away. Here's the one and two delivery. Nope. Ball That's two. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long, scrambling pitch after pitch, making this guy work out on the mound. Two out with the man at first. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run, run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Fouled off. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs. And now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Stepping into the box, Matt Olson. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Set and the pitch. We're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. Come set, the 0 1. Hit sharply on the ground. A flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. But the A's hit the board first on this solo home run. We played three full. It's now 1-0 in favor of the A's.
Back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, and leading off the inning, the big right-handed slugger Giancarlo Stanton. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. So far this year against Southpaws, Stanton is below the Mendoza line, the batting average under 200, unfortunately. Matty, he struggled this season against left handed pitching, but maybe a little shot of confidence with the manager putting him in the lineup today. One ball, one strike to count. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. In there, and it's even now, two and two. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. Now a swing and a miss, and Stanton is down on strikes for round number one. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. So here's the veteran, Brett Gardner. There's a swing and a high, deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. One ball, one strike. No runs, three hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. And another foul ball. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Grounded down the third baseline. This one's down to third. Chapman brings it in. And there are two away now. Now back. The catcher, Gary Stanton. So two are gone now in the Yankee half of the fourth. And the next to bat, the Dominican-born catcher, Gary Sanchez. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. This is on the ground over to first. And that's through for a base hit. Hey, there's another base knock right there. A hitting streak now up to eight games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Eight games. Now, nah, man, we're starting to think about it a little bit. You know, you get past that week, you just know you're locked in. They start talking eight games. Now you're like, all right, I got a nice little hitting streak going. Ball one to start the at bat. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. And he fouls this one off. No runs, four hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Chopper to short. Fielded cleanly. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. One left for the Yankees. They're down 1 0.
just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the A's hitters to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. All right, thanks, Heidi. So now it's Mark Hanna. He'll lead things off against Garrett Cole. Mark First delivery to him on the way. And he'll start him with a fastball that misses down and away for a ball. 1 0. Mm, and he'll just watch that knuckle curve. 1 and 1. Ball. 2 and 1. Now here it comes. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And a full count for Cano now. Three balls and two strikes. That's a stone cold take right there. Easily could have been rung up instead. A swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Oh man, he's been absolutely now, getting overmatched at the plate the last couple Matt. of games. That's his fifth Shut strikeout there. in this series alone. So clearly, this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A ball and a strike to count to Matt Chapman. Bases are empty, one man out. One and two now as that one's fouled off. to short. Torres brings it in. Throw on to first, two gone. A great forehand stop, but he had a Come little trouble here. getting Come rid of it. Here. Had to take an extra Here's step. It. I don't mind that, though. That's a great job to make sure he got a good handle on it and get off a good throw to get the out. Stepping in, Chris Davis looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And that misses for ball one. Two out, nobody on. On the ground to the right side. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. A's are gone in order. They lead it one to nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. No, they have not scored yet, but they have been successful in running up the pitch count, something they feel will eventually pay dividends on the scoreboard as the starter gets tired and they are forced to go to the bullpen. For now, they're sticking to the plan. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Leading off, of the Leading off the inning, the Luke Voigt, as they'll look Luke. to get something going here Voigt. and even this game up. Pitch on the way. Hit hard back up the middle, right to him. And the fifth oh. inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now batting, the right fielder, Mike. 
Kaufman. Into the box, Mike Talkman. Here comes the first pitch. Aye. One out, nobody on. Aye. Barely able to make contact, down 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. The count is one and two. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. And there's out number two. The batter, the designated hitter, Miguel and Duhar. Here's Miguel Andujar now. He was a ground out victim last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that's inside for a ball. One and oh. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two and oh. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees leadoff man. He's fallen behind now three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Hard liner but picked up on a hop. Rwanda Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. They're on the short end of a 1-0 score. Now in the box, Stephen Piscotti. He'll lead things off as we begin the home fifth. Piscotti. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one, no strike. That's ball two. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. That's ball three. Three and one. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Shows some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Digging in, Austin Allen. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. First pitch coming, here it is. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. A ball and a strike now. The 1-1 one -one pitch.
hit softly down the line at first. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Nobody out runner on first. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Stepping in now, Ramon Laureano. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. A hit and two tries for him so far. Now the 1-0. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. But this will land untouched. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. And it's gone. So it's a two-run shot to right center. Home run number three here in the early going. And the A's lead it now three to nothing. I know height sights 2020, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. To the plate now, Tony Kemp. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. It was a walk in his last trip. Look out as that one ran in and got him. Ready for another shot now. Marcus Semyon. It was a walk in his last trip. Here's the first pitch to him. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. Ball two now. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. And it's fouled away. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. He drilled the previous batter, and now he falls behind 3-1 to this guy. The last thing you can do, though, is throw a fastball middle of the plate right here. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. So it's a two-run shot to right center. Second home run early in the year. And the A's add on more. It's now a 5-0 game. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound. And it appears that we've seen the last here in this one of Garrett Cole. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third. And he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Wait, Luis Sessa will come on and make his fourth appearance now, in this campaign. Number 85, Luis Sessa.
That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1 0 is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. Sessa, the native of Mexico, he's a five year vet at the major league level. Hits are now even at four apiece. Outside, 3 and 0 now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. Swinging away and maybe a bit too anxious there. Still ahead in the count, 3 and 1. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a 3-1 count. The ump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind in a count like that, though. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Mark Canna is in for a third plate appearance as he watches one miss inside. It's 1 0. And when you're already down five, the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound. That's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing. And he misses again, 2 0. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Now the 2-0 home. Drilled to the left side. And there's his first base hit in this one. Count leverage right there, sitting dead okay. red fastball, and he didn't miss it. Nice swing right there, driving it into the outfield for a knock. So now to the plate, Matt Chapman. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. No hits to this point. The 1-0. Four runs here in this half inning. Fouled away. Here he comes again, 1-2. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Two and zero, the count to the A's left fielder. Looking at his career totals, Davis comes into play with a slugging percentage over 490, just shy of 500. So he's looking to inch closer to that nice plateau right here. And that catches the outside corner. It's two and one. From the stretch. And he popped him up. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. Two men are on with two men out. Lifted down the line and left. And no one will get this one.
Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Another full count pitch on its way. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. Five innings complete. The A's lead this one five to nothing. And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box. And then he and his fellow top-of-the-order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. First pitch of the at bat. Nope. Count one and oh. Two balls, no Not even close with the 1-0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. Ready with the 2-0 pitch. Down Whoa, low, right and there. the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. Got through the fifth all right, but it looks like he's a little off kilter here to start the sixth. Three and one. Hey, it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitters aboard to start the sixth. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across now yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their Lever. offense a little bit. Four. Riding in once again, Torres. One for two with a base hit back in the first inning of play. Has a look, now the pitch. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Now a foul tip right into the catcher's glove as he's able to hang on for the first out. That's just a great pitch, both on the call from the catcher and the execution. If he hits it, there's a good chance it turns into a double play ball, but it's also a spot that's going to get a lot of whiffs, too. That's excellent pitching. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. One and oh the count. From the belt the pitch and he watches one miss outside two and oh now. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. From the stretch. Aye. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. To two and two now. Two and two. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. And he nope. lays off here. Ball A nice four. job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. 
Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so far, but after that walk, they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. Digging in once again, Brett Gardner. 0 for 2 for him to this point. From the belt, kicks and deals. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. A ball and two strikes now. And yeah, that one misses badly. It's ball two. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. The 2 2. On the ground up the middle. Oh, behind the back. One there, and the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. Now back, catcher, Gary Sanchez. Standing in, Gary Sanchez. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. He's set, here it comes. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Runners on first and third, two away. Four. Ball one. The 1 1. Got him to reach for it there as this is grounded to short. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Throw on to first, and the Yankee threat goes by the boards as the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. So that'll bring up Steven Piscotti. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The right fielder. Defense. Here's the pitch. Owen oh, won the count. Now here's the pitch. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. In the air out toward right field. Tuckman is there to put it away for route number one. The batter, the catcher, Austin Allen. Stepping into the box, Austin Allen. He homered back in the third inning in this one. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And he'll start him with a slider that's taken down and away for ball one. Taken, but that catches the inside part of the plate. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Now batter. At the now plate, Ramon Laureano. He went deep for a two-run homer in his previous at-bat. And in that last at-bat, it makes you think that this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball, and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Nothing across here this half. We're through six full. It's the A's five, and the Yankees nothing. 
Coming to the plate now, Gio Urshela. He's one for two in the ball game. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. First pitch of the at-bat. And this is taken outside for ball one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The 1 0 home. Inside, ball two. Well, pitch count will become a factor here in the seventh. He's about to hit 100 for the game. Yeah, Matty B, that magic number in today's game is about 100 pitches, and this next pitch will be pitch number 100. Dero, he's been sailing along pretty easily so far in this one. Yeah, they've, he's given him some serious depth in this one. For him to get into the seventh inning allows the manager a lot of leeway, whether he wants to go to his bullpen or not. Two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2. Two -two. Slap hard the opposite way. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Boy, this guy is off to some kind of series, and he's one of the better road hitters in all of baseball. Yeah, and some guys just have a knack for lighting it up on the road, getting that good night's sleep, and finding a way to get to the yard early and work on their craft. At the plate now, Luke Voigt. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. One for two in the ball game thus far. The 0-1 delivery. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. And gone up into the second deck. It's a two run shot to straight away left. Home run number five on the year, and it's now a five to two game. comes Bob Melvin now out of the Oakland dugout and it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So a good performance here in this one is he'll give a tip of the cap to the home crowd after he departs yielding just two earned runs. J.B. Wendelkin comes on now and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. J.B. Wendelkin. Now batter, right fielder, Mike Talkman. Standing in now, Mike Talkman. High in the air out to center field. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. The batter, the designated hitter, Miguel and Duhar. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Miguel Andujar. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch on its way. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Behind 0-2 now. Still only one out in the inning. Three. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. If you've got a good fastball going and they're not now handling that, keep that throwing it right there. Three okay. fastballs in a row. Okay. He gone.
Into the box, DJ LeMayhew, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Ready with the 0-1. Count is two and one. That's ball three. Torres would be next if they can keep this inning alive. That is in there at the letters to run it full three and two. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Two out, nobody on. Grounded weakly down the line toward third. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Here's a pop up now. Olsen waits on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, Yankees get a couple on the two run home run. Get up and stretch. It's the A's five and the Yankees too. Jonathan Holder gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Jonathan Holder. Digging in, Tony Kemp. He's got to be looking for vengeance after getting plunked in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. No balls and a strike to count. Here's the pitch. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Sanchez recovers and he makes the throw to first. Kemp is retired and there's one away. Well, you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Marcus Semyon will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Tuckman is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Up next for Oakland. The first baseman. Matt. So here's the cleanup hitter, Matt Olson. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First offering on its way. Eight. Comes at him with the slider there, and he gets the strike. The 0 1 is a fastball low, and that evens the count at 1 and 1. Five two, our score as we play inning number seven. Two and one to the A's first baseman. I got two one to count.
And that's into the corner a foul ball in right. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the A's. And it remains five to two. Joaquin Soria has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 48, Joaquin Soria. Into the box now, Torres. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Good zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. We got three and two. Don't go too far. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton gets his shot next. And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Digging in to try it again, Giancarlo Stanton. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch on its way. A pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. Now the 0-1. Down the first baseline. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. The center fielder. So a runner at first now with Brett. one away. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. From the stretch. First pitch here misses wide, 1 0. We're in the eighth inning now of a 5 to 2 ball game. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. From the belt, the pitch outside with the fastball as the count moves to two and one now. From the stretch. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a three one count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle in. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. 
Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because now if that. it's put in play, the there's a good chance it's yeah. on the ground for a double play. And, hey, a strikeout always works, too. Stepping in now, Gary Sanchez. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Two and zero oh now. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in his own he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. And this is a called strike at the letters. Looked like ball three but make it two and one instead. Hey it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. into the corner and slicing foul. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one and the inning is over. The Yanks leave one and the deficit remains 5-2. Jack Green is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 57, Chad Green. Now the A's designated hitter, Mark Canna, is working on a one for three thus far. Mark Canna. First pitch coming, here it is. A ball and no strikes. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. And the pitch. Lined hard toward right center, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Dan, right here you see a situation where no doubles defense can, comes back to bite you as a pitcher. Are you even aware when guys are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you, D-Row. You're so concerned about it on the mound trying to get that white ball to that dark brown or black glove that I never really ever turned around to even know it's where they were playing. I was concerned about getting the guy out swinging the bat. To the plate now, Matt Chapman. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. The 1-1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Soft grounder left side. And this is going to work out for him. It's an infield single to make it first and second now. And that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one. But I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, d -Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground. And you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. 
Chris Davis is next as he finds himself behind 0 and 1. First and second here with nobody out. And he takes this one high, one and one. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Here's the one and one pitch. Down low, two balls and a strike. It has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Two balls and two strikes. The count to Chris Davis. He's set and the 2-2 pitch. Here's a little chopper up the middle. A barehanded play by LeMayhew. The second for one. On to first. Not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. So they avoid what could have been a costly double play there. Yeah, and that credit the batter for busting out of the box and hustling down the line instead of getting mad at himself for rolling over on a ground ball. It's little things like that that can change the whole game. Next up for the A's, Steven Piscotti. He flew out in his last at-bat. Yeah, and I'm sure he'd like a base hit of some sort right here, Matty. But hey, you know what? Another fly out wouldn't be all that bad. If he can get it deep enough, he should be able to drive in a nice run with a sack fly. The 0-1 on its way. Ball. One ball, two strikes. Okay. Classic strikeout pitch right there on 0-2. It's the one we know he loves going to, but great recognition to lay off in that spot. The 1-2. Lifted down the line and left. Stanton on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. And even with two away now, that ball just didn't get out there deep enough, so now they'll hold him at Ketcher. third base. Austin. Allen. In now, Austin Allen. And they're runners at the corners now. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Outside. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. Runners at the corners, two men out. Here's a line drive into center field. It's a base hit. And the run is in to score from third. Well, that makes it a four-run deficit, so you might have to start wondering if this is too much for them to come back. They've only been able to scratch across two runs the entire game so far, so coming up with four more in this one might be too tall of an order. Aroldis Chapman will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Aroldis Chapman. Into the box now, Ramon Laureano. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Chapman, nicknamed the Missile for obvious reasons. He's in year one of a new three-year deal. Chapman's ready, coming at him with the 0-1. One. one ball, one strike.
fouled off. Two down, runners at first and second. He struck him out, and it could have been worse. The inning over with only a run coming across to score. A's have to settle for just the one. Ninth inning coming up. The A's lead it 6-2. to two. Lou Trevino comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Gio Urshela. He'll try and lead things off here in Gio inning number nine. Urshela. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Liner towards second. And that is in the right field. So the leadoff man's aboard here to kick off the ninth. Hey, <laughs> Dero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, you'll take three for four every day of the week. Yeah, in today's day and age, Dan, where everything's a homer, a walk, or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. At the plate, Luke Voigt. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh so far two for three in this one. The one oh that one's going to find the seats strike one. Now the one and one pitch. Oh. Fastball well outside. The curveball looked at strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute oh, missile of a fastball. Right Even hit. if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's oh. hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. So now to the plate, Mike Talkman. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Runner at first here, one man out. A ball and a strike. One and one. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Gone. A two run blast to straight away right field. Second home run early in the year. And they cut the gap here. It's now six to four. Hey, in today's game of extreme velocity, if you have mediocre stuff, you cannot miss over the heart of the plate. You have to nibble at the corners. He wasn't able to do that, and he paid the ultimate price. Jake Diekman takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 35. Jake. Jake. 
That's pretty angry. Standing in now, Miguel Andujar. And she'll take a look at ball one. Diekman is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. One out, nobody on. Hot shot toward third. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And this will be off the wall out near the 330 marker. And he'll pull into second with one away. Well, he was definitely not looking off speed on that pitch. I'll tell you, he had to be sitting on a fastball on that one because it's coming in hot. And he still manages to get out front of that and yank it for two bases. In now, D.J. LeMayhew, as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. The 0-1 delivery. Here, strike two as the slider hits the outside corner. Runner at second here with one man out. Stays alive, still 0-2. And, one and two to DJ LeMayhew. You know, in this situation, you almost have to pitch like there's no one on base. That run really doesn't mean anything with the lead they've got. The hitter is the guy that can turn this game on its head. To two balls and two strikes now. And that misses, so it's a full count three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0-2 to, to work the count back to 3-2. And, and he's seen a lot of pitches, too. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit hard back up the middle. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Boy, every pitcher needs a little bit of help. How about this? This infielder makes a terrific catch on this line drive, probably saving a run from scoring. So stepping in, Torres. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The 1 0 home. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Hit hard down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. Now a crowd announced at a bit over 23,000 comes to their feet. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Last chance for the Yankees. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Time to narrow your focus up there at the plate. In a one-run game, he doesn't want to walk him, so there's a good chance he's going to get something to handle right here. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Into center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. And a relay to the 
the plate, but not in time as the run scores and the lead is trimmed to one. Hey, there's a bullet base hit right to center field, D'Aro. Looked like there was going to be a close play at the plate. Good job of base running, rounding third, making sure that he was able to get in to score. This is always one I wonder why the third base coach doesn't send more. You see more balls from the center fielder hit the mound and not make it all the way home with a lot of steam on it. Nice aggressive base run. Liam Hendricks hits the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Giancarlo Stanton now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Here it comes, 1-0. Your attention, please. He's running at first for the Yankees. Number 14, Tyler Wade. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Quick check on that time run at first. And he'll get back in safely. And he struck him out for route number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible time run stranded at first. Hey, we were really treated to a good one today. Bottom of the eighth proved to be the difference, though. And a good job here in the ninth to close the book on this one. A one-run game, 6-5 to five, the final today. The Athletics led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Sean Manaya earns his first win of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.